people a brand new day it is very cloudy um it's not supposed to be very warm today so i'll be wearing my jacket you can see some dots on my truck it's starting to sprinkle so i don't know how much time i'll have i found a new spot and we're gonna see if it's viable see if there's anything good here to hold my interest and uh put you on the chest mount and we'll go from there so stick around let's see if we can find something you know a lot of garbage but I think this might be something good. Hey, it's a buckle. Oh, no way. Holy moly. That is a uh, Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts. Oh, man. Uh, do this a quick clean here. Yeah, you see it, Cub Scouts. Nice. And it's all there, too. I've got a nice uh, penny signal. Oh, the camera cut out on that last one, which was the uh, Cub Scout buckle. But I think I have a ring or a key. Oh, half a key. Yeah, half a key. Nice. Uh, but that Cub Scout was all there. Yep, nice buckle, nice key. Hmm, I may like <laughs> this piece of property. <laughs> uh, I think I just pulled my first silver. Uh, it's not small. It rang up pretty good on the Knox 600 around the uh, mid 30s, uh, 30 to 33, which means silver. Yeah, let's take a look just popped it out with the shovel right there not sure which one it is yet uh, I do believe that's gonna be a Washington nice 1941 oh that cleans up so nice and there's the Eagle oh yeah absolutely gorgeous baby nice Well, I bet that was not good for the lawnmower. It uh, took a few hits. Rang up really nice on the detector. But man, it's full of dirt. Aluminum baseball bat versus lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Check it out. It's an old school line tensioner. And it's brass. Nice. A little dirt in the end there. Yeah, that is awesome. Line tensioner. These date all the way back to the Civil War. This could actually be part of the 1917 uh, base here in Waco. Nice. <laughs> I just scooped out a second one. Take a look. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. A line tensioner for uh, tents, power lines. But uh, small ones like this probably used for a tent. That is cool. Ooh, I just got my second coin. And it's probably going to be a Lincoln. Maybe not. Let me uh, do a little cleanup. Could be a dime. It might be a dime. Yeah, it's a dime. There's a modern rosy. Red rosy. All right. Well, I just pulled this out. Just cleaning it up. But that's a handle off an old pot right there uh yeah so saying for my camera shut off it's an old pot handle 
hope my camera keeps going because I just found something really super cool. I hope I didn't break it. It's right there. <laughs> I got an old pistol. Oh. Well, I had to go get a new battery. Even though that last battery said it still had 40%, it was cutting out on me. So, I have found something really cool. It was a high signal. Normally, uh, I'd reserve those for garbage, such as a large piece of uh, steel or aluminum, but this is neither one of those. <laughs> this is super cool. Check it out. It's a pistol. Ah. Uh, and it's all there oh my lord that is so freaky awesome triggers missing oh so it's not all there and I dinged it just right there wow oh and it's all metal oh I scraped it right there too that's why you don't dig so close and it looked like a piece of pipe in the ground and I wound up scraping it ah uh, but that is awesome uh, oh, uh, nice star star and this is metal this isn't the plastic handle one. Nice. Huh. Look at this ugly thing. It's huge. Ring up pretty good. And oh my god. Oh my god. It's a it's another gun. <laughs> Oh, it's a rifleman. Holy moly. Ah, all right, there's a piece coming off right there. It's a spring. Throw that in my pouch, save it. Ah, the rifleman. Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, if it uh, was destroyed out here, it might have some more pieces out here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be on the other side or what. But, wow. That is so cool. All right, that goes on the pouch with the other one. <laughs> uh, I think I just found another something good. Um, that is the top half of a two-piece button. The backing's missing, but that is a military, either a pocket or a cuff button. Probably World War II. Nice. That's awesome. Hmm. Right there in the hole. And we got ourselves a nice little buckle. It's got a little bend to it. Uh, but yeah, that's a little slider buckle with the teeth on it. Nice. I just pulled this out of the ground. This is one of those short mags. I've never seen one before. So they took the body of a larger caliber, like a 300, and then they necked it down to, what is this one? 223, holy moly. Winchester short. Um, short magnum I don't know what the other S is for but wow that is insane uh I 
I am not sure what this is. I thought at first this was like a three legs to a pot, but <laughs> uh, it's an upside down uh, lid. And that's the legs. Uh, one of them's broke off right there. Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Mach 00 Waco, Texas. So I think I'm going to leave that in the ground flat. Cover it back up. That's pretty cool. That almost looks like a ring, but I don't think it is. In a way, it is a ring. It's a uh, dial ring for a, it's a dial ring for a um, combination lock. Yep. That's what it is. Combination lock dial. Got a pretty good uh, mid 20s, low 20s signal here. Start digging it up and out pops this key. And holy moly. Ah, oh, look at all those keys. Wow. <laughs> that is three rings of keys. Let's see. Uh, on this big ring, there's one, two, three. This one has one, two, three, four, five, and the small one has two. So, two, five is seven, and three is, is ten keys. Wow, those are big keys, too. Insane. <laughs> Look at all those keys. Ten keys in one shot. Nice. I just dug a ring. Um, I think it's a pipe ring and not an actual wedding ring. It's pretty thin. Edges aren't beveled to be smooth. So, yeah, I think it's just a copper ring for pipes. Still cool. Okay, after some uh, camera malfunctions, seemed to work out pretty good, but absolutely fantastic day. Uh, still cloudy. Uh, it did sprinkle a little bit, but not too much. And uh, I got to go to other things. So let's do the wrap up really quick. Uh, looks like a center cap to maybe a Willie's uh, Jeep or Willie's vehicle. This is a uh, brass or copper lid. That's got a uh, circular design on it. So, and that's a little something there. So I'm not really sure if this is a canning jar lid or not. Uh, they got those 10 keys. Uh, almost looks like a smash compact maybe. Half a key, that buckle. Winchester uh, short magnum 223 uh, I got two line tensioners a Really cool boy scout uh, Buckle here. I got one dime. I got a military cuff button Probably World War two uh, huh? I got silver for the day 1941 totally awesome uh, I got this the rifleman that is a lever action rifle. Uh, got pretty well smacked up, beat up, uh, destroyed. And uh, the prize of the day is going to be this really cool pistol with the bull's head longhorn on it. Uh, I did smack it right there, right there, right there, and right there. But overall, it's in pretty good condition. It's got some dirt still left on it. It's missing the trigger. 
Looks like it broke off a while ago, but that is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, I got me a whole toy pistol. Well, missing the trigger, but that is cool. I'll get a date on that later. But there we go. We'll call it a day. Nice. All right, people. Uh, thanks for coming around. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. Hit the like button. Share with your family and friends. And come back next week for another episode. And don't forget, wherever you go and whatever you do, have fun. As long as it's legal. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>